It's the new fast tracked plan to reopen the Ontario government announcing they are moving to the next phase of reopening this week. That beginning on February 17th, we will remove all capacity limits except for sporting events, concert venues and theaters, which will be capped at 50%. Some higher risk settings will also be capped at 25%. Social gathering limits will increase to 25 people indoors and 100 people outdoors. Organized public events will increase to 50 people indoors with no limits outdoors. The new reopening date is four days earlier than the original, which was February 21st. The executive director with the Halton Hills Chamber of Commerce, Melanie Fraser, says it's a good day for business. I think it's the first really positive day we've had in a long time. So um, I, you know, was out and about in the community this afternoon picking up some Valentine's Day treats and everyone seemed really high in spirits. Uh, people are looking forward to um, what uh, March is going to bring. So I think it's good news that we were able to accelerate the reopening plan by a few days. And I think it's even better news that businesses won't be um, burdened with the vaccine passport um, or the vaccine credential check come March 1st, assuming everything stays the way it is. Um, the one thing I did hear from some people though that I thought was interesting is, is um, they just really want to make sure that this time is the last time. So um, uh, there's some hesitancy about whether or not this is uh, going to stick. So uh, time will tell. I guess we'll know in a couple of weeks. So as Fraser alluded to, uh, Ford also announced that March 1st is the second date when further restrictions would be lifted, including the proof of vaccination. So with that feedback from our business community, I wanted to know what some of our residents thought. So I went out earlier to get some of that feedback. Have a look. I think it's late. The government supposed to do like months ago. Because, you know, the business is in very bad condition right now, especially for the small business, food business. Uh, my opinion about it is, uh, yeah, I think the government get a late to open the, uh, the entire uh, business. So, but now that it's here, what do you think? Oh, uh, it's a good, yeah, it's still good anyway. You know, it's better late than never, you know, it's, uh, but yeah. I felt good for the small business, especially the food business, that very, very bad uh, time right now. I think it's wonderful, yeah. I mean, as long as everyone's still smart and safe and don't go out if you're sick, otherwise it's great. Yeah, it'd be nice to kind of get back to some sort of normalcy. Uh, I think it's too quick that we're moving like this. Um, I would rather a more phased and slower approach just so that we don't find ourselves in more hectic times like we have before. So I think it's way too quick right now. Another thing to note about this announcement is that Ford also said that they're expanding the eligibility of the booster shot. So children aged 12 and 17 will now be able to get an appointment for their boosters starting this Friday, February 18th.